good morning students today i'm going to teach you laser melting okay so basically how melting uh, happens when the laser beam is allowed to fall on a material the uh, the area surrounded by the uh, material uh, where the uh, laser beam falls will be uh, melted and it will be in the molten stage so this is the melting so this is uh, used in uh, laser welding or laser cutting process okay so the laser melting is of two types one is conduction limited melting another one is keyhole melting okay so conduction limited melting is otherwise called as uh, low power laser melting okay and uh, keyhole melting is otherwise called as deep penetration melting okay so we'll see it one by one so first is conduction limited uh, melting so here as i said uh, low power laser is used for this purpose so here uh, we have a specimen and the laser is allowed so low power laser is allowed to fall on the material so what will happen once the laser falls on the material because of the heating uh, as i said uh, some uh, uh, more amount of uh, energy will be absorbed and absorption uh, will uh, make the uh, increase the heat heat of the material because of the temperature increase the material will become molten okay so that is the melting so uh, the a part of the uh, area okay the part of the area surrounding the laser beam okay in the form of hemisphere the part will be uh, melted okay so this is the laser melting process takes place in the first uh, uh, type and here what happens as soon as the laser light enters the mel uh, uh, material uh, the the area uh, hemispherical area surrounding the laser uh, will be uh, melted and the heat will be transferred uh, or conducted equally equally throughout the uh, material okay so because of equal conduction of the heat we get a we got a hemispherical shaped molten surface okay so this is the conduction limited so here if you see uh, de by dt will be less than dh by dt so de by dt is the amount of energy uh, of the incident laser okay since i have used low power laser it will be very less and this is the amount of energy absorbed okay absorbed and conducted so it will be greater than the amount of energy incident okay now let's see the second one key hole melting it is the other name for key hole melting as a uh, deep penetration melting okay so in the name itself it is that the penetration will be quite deep okay and the name uh, keyhole is uh, derived after the structure so it is looking like a, a, a hole of a keyhole okay the uh, the whole keyhole uh, it is looking like that so because of that it is uh, named like this okay so first uh, uh, we should uh, see the construction of it so here the laser uh, is allowed to fall on a specimen okay here remember high power laser is allowed to fall so because of the high power laser more amount of uh, uh, area will be uh, melted okay so here we got a cylindrical uh, hemispherical melting area but here we got a cylindrical shaped melting area so just remember we have a, a cube shaped um, Uh, specimen so if the laser is injected on it so around a hemispherical a cylinder cylindrical shaped uh, structure the area will be melted okay so remember during this melting process some of the vapors okay some of the vapors will be trapped okay so that trapped vapors will be in the form of this key hole okay so this uh, laser uh, the trapped vapor uh, will move as the beam penetrates okay since it is a high power beam it can penetrate even deeper okay so as it go deeper this uh, vapor uh, the trapped vapor will also move along with that okay 
so forming a uh, again a small uh, a deep deeper hole okay so this is the um, melting uh, structure or profile so this is the keyhole melting as i already said it will look like the uh, keyhole okay and remember here we, are, here we have a d e by d g okay will be very uh, very very greater that d h by d g okay remember d e means the incident laser since it is having very high power laser d e by d g will be higher than d h by d g okay now let's see laser trimming laser trimming means uh controlled alteration of the resistor or capacitor value okay so by using the laser we are just trimming the word trimming means we are just uh, altering modifying a little in order to achieve the required resistance and or capacitance value okay so it works on the principle that uh, if you want uh, it, it uh, consider this as a resistor okay so this is having some resistance value so i want to increase the resistance value what i will do just i will uh, i know that uh, the resistance is uh, related to the area of the material so okay so if i want to increase the resistance of this particular material i will just uh, reduce the area by just trimming or removing some of the portion of the material i other uh, area will be reduced if the area is reduced the resistance will be increased so by using this concept i can achieve the required or desired uh, resistance value okay so this is the concept so the required means the nominal that means the required uh, resistance value or capacitance value can be achieved okay so this is the uh, principle of it okay so let's see the uh, construction of it so basically the material uh, where the resistance or capacitance value needs to be uh, changed or modified is placed over the pressurized chamber okay so this pressurized chamber is just below the tempered pressure glass okay so just below the surface of the tempered glass we will be placing the uh, material to be uh, where material where the resistance or capacitance to be changed okay and this material is allowed uh, uh, to focus like in such a way that uh, the laser beam will directly strikes on this material why the when the laser beam strikes on this material uh, it will remove some of the uh, uh, some portion of it okay and uh, you just, you just uh, remember it, the, the complete process is automatic because um, we will set the required resistance value that means the nominal value is initially set okay so based upon that the laser beam is continuously applied and every time the resistance of that particular material is recorded okay it is compared with the nominal value so once the nominal value is reached okay so for this particular uh, mat uh, material once the nominal value is reached the laser operation stops because we have reached the desired uh, 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 resistance value so that is the process of this Uh, laser trimming. Okay, so here the laser trimming is uh, actually having two types. One is active and passive. Second one is passive. Active means here, uh, uh, like uh, uh, everything in the circuit. Okay, like frequency, amplitude, all the things will be considered and it will be controlled. Okay, and passive uh, trimming means only the uh, required thing, either it is resistance or it is capacitance. Anything, any. one thing can be uh, focused and it is achieved okay and let's see the advantages of it so uh, advantage of laser trimming is it is completely clean okay so uh, previously what they will do conventionally for uh, trimming and all for required uh, achieving desired resistor value what they will do is they will just do mechanical abrasion abrasion means they will simply scratch the material and they will measure the resistance value and they will fix the, uh, the i mean they will reach the nominal uh, value for this uh, resistor 
but uh, now because of this laser trimming the the uh, the process is completely clean okay there is no mess and the second advantage is it is a uh, uh, very um, accurate because whatever the uh, requ uh, required nominal value with high accuracy it can be achieved okay